Big news here for Terra Luna Classic as we have more burns going on here as Terra Luna Classic here is standing at support and I just bought even more Terra Luna Classic here. In this video I'm gonna explain why I believe Terra Luna Classic is bullish and why I believe we could see some massive rallies in the future on Terra Luna Classic. So stay tuned with no further ado let's get into the video. So first of all if you enjoy these videos please leave a like that will also help Terra Luna Classic community to spread the message here and as well subscribe and don't forget there is a huge bonus on your deposit it right now going on on Fairdesk. If you want to trade derivatives, no KYC, no VPN needed, I will leave you the link in the description. So if you've been following me, you know that we've been recently waiting for this trend line here on Terra Luna Classic to break up. As if this breakup happens, we could be looking at around 6x, even up to 8x if we go towards the highs. And this means that a massive run that I didn't want to miss on. And I did buy some Terra Luna Classic here at this accumulation zone here. And now I even bought more at this dip here. Why? Because I still believe that Terra Luna Classic could be one of those coins that could really rise off the ashes and just rally hard by the next bull market and I even made a video why I believe Terra Luna Classic would hit 0.01 dollars I'll leave you the link to that one on the description anyways now so far here we're still waiting for this trend line to break as we can see previously we had a breakout here that led to a rally and we're still waiting for this trend line to break now usually this trend line stay under breaking up especially when we start to form this triangle when we add the support here there's red box this usually breaks to the upside now all we need here for Terra Luna Classic is to hold the support now we're still waiting we're still having this previous low that we haven't touched yet well possibly we could still take that low and this would be probably it here for Terra Luna Classic before we see it rally back up why because we still get news overall coming in all the time for Terra Luna Classic as we can see now Terra Luna Classic proposal to directly burn 800 million USTC officially passed and this means guys that the community is still strong now we can see here in this picture we had this vote going on in the community and the majority voted yes for burning the fonts made available from the proposal as soon as they arrived to the to the community pool there is no coin so far here that still has a community like this even Shiba Inu is struggling to burn their tokens but Terra Luna here we can still see there is a still strong belief behind this chain or this blockchain a lot of people still want to use this blockchain a lot of people still in interested in it and they want it back they want to repack the usd the ustc and they want to burn as much lunacy as possible now to me the most important is i want to see still the community as a life because most of the time it's the community that drives the price up as well as the narrative now the narrative of stable coins is still around but not as strong narratives they come and go but the point is the community as long as the community is here this will still bring the price higher as now this is not the first event that happened where there were some burns on terra luna classic the goal of the community here is still to repack the ustc which is the stable coin on luna classic chain and basically if this happens this means that terra luna classic would become operational again as it was before before this huge crash this means that terra luna classic will become as operational as it was in these highs before now i do not think that we will ever get back to this levels that we were in before in the past like a hundred dollars per, per terra luna classic token but for the one dollar this still could be possible especially if there is huge amount of burns going on now this would still be possible but it is a long-term fight here going on here we still Still need more burns any rally we get now if we break above here this would also bring a lot of formal back into terra luna classic we'll start to see a lot of people talking about it and this will bring also more buying and we all know we have the snowball effect going on with terra luna classic as the more buys and sells happens also the more burns happen and also the community get bigger the proposal starts to also get bigger and the news and the burn starts to happen more and this is still bullish for terra luna classic on the long term that's why i am still bullish on terra luna classic and i'm just buying what i'm willing to risk overall when we ever get a dip now i still believe this support here is still gonna hold we could still go back take this low here and this would probably be it around these lows here remove most of the sellers and we're just gonna be into a clean environment then and with only buyers are interested and this is what we want to see here on terra luna classic as i said now my plan is to buy the dips here on terra luna classic i'm waiting for this breakout to happen at 20x is not bad here if this happens this is the most realistic target now so far is to get around the 20x here if this happens and we could still 
still see the repeg and as well maybe going back to war dollar which is still so far looking ridiculous right now but it's still on the table everything is possible in this crypto space and that's what i'm waiting for here now at least this target here and then we could see i'll keep you guys updated on my channel so don't forget to subscribe as well as i'm a day trader here on fairdesk it's a crypto exchange derivative exchange you can follow my trades i day trade daily you can make money passively here and thank you again for watching this video and remember nothing is financial advice as always and i see you on the next one cheers